squad it's your boy homo ziggy we back here with another reaction and we back here with another death battle we got rick sanchez versus the doctor rick and morty versus doctor who now hey it's basically like this for me personally i don't know much about doctor who so shout outs to a death battle for doing this and such gonna get me more caught up and got me give me a little information on it but look if you for all my rick, rick and morty fans out there hey what can i say let's face it with rick sanchez that mother sucker is crazy smart but crazily insane as well because you never know what type of insane adventures him and morty is gonna get into so Let's see which doctor is the most insane you can say. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. And look, comment down below who you think is gonna win. This video me. is sponsored by BetterHelp. For me, it's gonna be Rick Sanchez. Rick Sanchez! The Doctor. These brilliant geniuses dominate the cosmos, but who would win an all-out brawl? He's wears an iron boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I see. Everything about Morty Smith's life was perfectly average. Mm. Average house, average mm. family, average school. Maybe slightly below average intelligence. But everything mm. changed that the day dumbest dog Grandpa shit. Rick came home. Yeah, in style! Because <laughs> Rick Sanchez is anything but average. Rick is Very. easily the smartest man in the universe. Rick Sanchez, age... Se this man is 70 years old and he's doing crazy-ish like this crazy home dimension c137 because like i said this man can go through any dimensions and you never know which one is the real one from the fake one aka the smartest man in the universe true galactic federal criminal federation criminal likes mcdonald's alcohol and planes planets sorry dislikes pirates squirrels rick prime his blue hair is natural. <laughs> what does that got to do with anything? But fuck it. Universe and its most dangerous criminal. He spent years on the run from the Galactic Federation, going on adventures across the multiverse. Who cares about the emotional trauma from abandoning his daughter, right? And then he took her son and put him in life-threatening danger. Bye! Yeah. Thus formed the greatest duo of the generation. Rick yeah. and Morty. Yeah, mostly Rick. Morty's mostly. the cannon fodder who smuggles grapefruit-sized seeds up his ass. And that's just the first episode. <laughs> Rick is an unparalleled yeah. inventor, always ready to face even the squanchiest of alien foes. He's got your usuals. Laser gun, invisibility belt, shrink ray, cyborg implants, the works. As well as some weirder things, like a Mr. Meeseeks box, which can summon an infinite number of irritating temporary life forms that will work tirelessly to accomplish a given task. Or a series of android decoys that are so perfectly created, they don't even realize they're decoys. Which For leads real. them to create decoys that and create decoys and so on. Rick's gadgets can erase your memories. Man you would never think that this is basically like this. He is so insane that at this point, they, it's just normal. The stuff that he does is crazy, psychotic, out of control. That to me, that is with the way how he gives off like. <clears throat> It's just normal. Ain't no way nobody in real life, 70 years old or not, is doing crazy shit like this. I'm sorry. Manipulate and travel through time and even make a surface true level. As in perfectly flat, something normally mathematically impossible. So beautiful that experiencing it for only a moment before returning to non-euclidean space can hmm. emotionally scar you for life he can even inject you with his own genetic info and instantly chest burst a clone of himself from inside you <laughs> like a pasty alcoholic xenomorph what the hell Rick yeah, what the hell the universe in the space cruiser 
powered by a microverse under the hood, this compact starship comes equipped with laser cannons, a fishing line that can tow a solar system, and a unique artificial intelligence. With all that crazy sci-fi gear, Rick and Morty's adventures were absolutely <laughs> bonkers. From disentangling a time loop created by alien snakes, to battling the metafictional story lord, to Rick turning himself into a pickle, pickle. to avoid pickle therapy. This guy would rather battle the Russian mafia as a vegetable than address his feelings. Actually, pickles are fruit. I really think about it. This... Like, this nigga really... Like, turned into... Got turned into a pickle, as you see. Right? And is really fighting off a whole entire army. Or whatever, right? Nigga. Who even does that? Only one person, Rick, Rick freaking Sanchez, does that shit, and he acts like that's normal. Rather battle the Russian mafia as a Russian mafia, yo. Address his feelings. Actually, pickles are fruit. Because boy, doesn't matter. Boy, does he have a lot of them? Behind the fart jokes and wobble of a dub dubs, Rick harbors bitter emotional agony. Way back e. when, in a completely different universe, the Rick we know had a happy life until another Rick from another universe took it all away. The bastard. But mm. like me, Rick is a true inventor, and this tragedy spurred him to craft his greatest creation, the portal gun. My scans indicate it creates holes through all aspects of space-time, allowing Rick to travel anywhere in the multiverse. That's... It sounds exhausting. It can do it does. more than that! It can slice you in half, set up traps, and even... <laughs> That's coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> uh -huh. Decades of yeah, uh -huh. the multiverse hunting down Hello. the man who ruined his Said life. In his own dimension, Rick's daughter died without you. Sir Rick serpent the position of grandfather. Darkened Rick's heart. He began to ask himself, if there are an infinite number of universes with an infinite number of each person, how did any individual life matter? Sounds like he's overthinking it. Like the time he accidentally turned all of humanity yeah, into remember. horrific Cronenbergs. He and Morty had to escape to a parallel universe where they swapped places with recently deceased versions of themselves. What does that do to a person? Make some bad- Traumatize your ass for life. That's what it does. Like nigga. Hold on y'all, I gotta make sure I check my phone every time because I ordered some DoorDash, so I'm trying to make sure I don't, like, yes, I order during my food time, so don't judge me, during my recording time, so don't judge me, but now, really think about it, this nigga literally just transported from one place to another, and it's, the, like, easy, hold on, I want to make sure I'm recording, I want to make, making sure I'm recording, if I'm not, I will be piss. Okay, I am. I'm good. Y'all hearing me? I gotta make sure. Look, y'all. Y'all may not. I may feel like I'm. But I gotta check every single time. Okay, so we good. You good? All right, let's get back. Ass. When Rick found the interdimensional the Ricky, Rick. of Ricks, he kicked their teeth in. Like they say, he's the Rickest he's. Rick of them all. <laughs> that he is. Just he touching is. the hem of his coat can activate his energy shield or even induce instant death. Yeah. Yes, instant. No, he yeah. doesn't explain why. Though considering this reaction, it just it's does. likely a chemical released through the coat's lining. Rickest Rick, whiz, he's dodged an orbital space laser from just a few feet away. He's <laughs> so smart, he figured out he's in a TV show. Yep, really. Perhaps most mysterious is Operation Shout out. Shout out to that fourth wall breaking. <laughs> Phoenix. A series of clone bodies that his consciousness can be uploaded to upon his death. Despite eventually taking it offline, his mind is still connected to every other Operation Phoenix across the multiverse. <laughs> giving him an infinite number of extra lives, <laughs> even if some of them are shrimps and fascists. Some of his devices can destroy the Earth, the universe, even numerous That's alternate timelines. Thing. He actually did that just to manipulate the stock market. Though underneath the drunken god complex, there's still a glimmer of the family man Rick used to be. Well, as much as he insists that love is just a chemical reaction in the brain, he does care about his daughter and grandkids. 
and Jerry. Somewhat. Sometimes. He's yeah. taking on an alien Zeus, the president of the United States, and the actual devil, even exiting the bounds of fiction into meta reality, fighting Jesus H. Leaping Christ himself, and meeting <laughs> Joseph Campbell. Talk about a hero's journey. Challenge God damn. at your will. He might look like a scrawny, drunken septuagenarian. But this motherfucker can't fight. But he's also somehow the greatest warrior in the universe. For real. You can lick his balls. <laughs> Oh. Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright were just your average like for real this man even though Rick Sanchez may look like a drunk don't get it twisted that's all he can whoop ass if he could whether by bare hands or with some electronics this man can whoop your ass for wheels so don't get it so don't think he's soft student Susan was odd almost like an alien and when they met her grandfather and his police box they found out why they were aliens and that police box was the tardis a two-in-one spaceship and time machine thus they were whisked away into the stars kicking off over half a century of timey-wimey adventures with a revolving cast of companions like sarah jane smith rose tyler the brigadier amy pond and so many more complete with the cheesiest special effects you've ever seen this madman with a box had a name he would never tell and a history he would always run from he was only known as the Doctor. Doctor who? Exactly. Doctor exactly? Though the Doctor's origins are shrouded in mystery, we know they were born several thousand full name years unknown. ago and earned degrees in college. So full name unknown, age at least 2,000 years old. This species, Time Lord. Shortest height, 506. Hey, he's my, almost my height, you can say. Tallest height, 6 foot 3. Has seven spouses, including Cleopatra and Marilyn Monroe. What the heck? How you gonna have one that's literally from Egypt and in like the 40s or so, 40s, 50s, or whatever? What? <laughs> Likes jelly babies, bow ties, companions, dislikes apples, bureaucrats, and Daleks. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know much about him, so... But he got bored with the stuffy Time Lord bureaucrats, stole a TARDIS, and explored time and space as a runaway. Who can forget those adventures chasing dinosaurs on a spaceship, dueling Robin Hood with a spoon, or shoving Hitler in a closet? Yeah, we know <laughs> it's kind of weird. Very. But if you don't know who's who, you're hey. probably wondering, who are all these people? A bunch of old guys, young guys, a lady, and one of the three stooges. What? The Doctor is a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. Time Lord. So he's kind of like Rick Sanchez in real life. But more crazy. But couldn't be more different. Not only do they have two hearts, they literally experience time. So abilities are a casually. A casualty? I don't know. Fourth wall awareness. Break the fourth wall. So same thing like how Rick Sanchez is. Genius intellect. Genius intellect. Hypnotis. Hypnosis, sorry. Precognition. Regeneration. Oh. Well, then again, Rick can go into another body, but, he, but when it comes to his own body, he can't really... Like trying to, you know, like in those times, whenever like a body part gets cut off, you can like be like a lizard and just make it grow back like that and such. Rick mostly just goes into another different body. So that might be a problem. I'm differently. They can see past, present, and future all at once. They can resist temporal phenomena such as time stops and can tamper with fixed points in time. They're effectively acausal beings. This makes them super hard to predict and nearly impossible to erase from any timeline. They can okay. even breach the bounds of space and talk directly to you. Yes, you at home. Hello mm. there. Time Lords are practically Ooh, walking deus ex machinas. <laughs> in fact, a lot of them would be proud to be called that. Yeah, the duck ran away for a reason. Time Lords are a bit dodgy. The doctor has hypnotized with a glance, resisted mind control, survived deadly radiation, and even learned transmigration. As in, <laughs> the ability to summon an object out of thin air. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but it's apparently standard fare for Time Lord. AKA known as 
Hollywood magic. <laughs> Academy. But the reason why there are so many doctors is that Time Lords have a funny way of cheating death. Upon receiving Dude. a fatal wound, the doctor undergoes regeneration gaining a new healthy body <laughs> it's way more than that while reloading the doctor has regrown lost limbs become strong enough to knock down steel doors and even weaponized his own time energy downside being if a time lord dies during regeneration that ends the process permanently to date we've seen 14 versions of the doctor plus a few extras mixed in here and there hell by the time you're watching this you've probably seen the 15th or the 16th. The experiences each doctor gains changes and affects the next doctor, and the next, and so on. Each doctor maintains the same memories, but with an all new personality. Some like bow ties, some like jelly babies, mm. some kick butt with Venusian oh, karate, and some really hate the monarchy, probably because they're werewolves. But they always have one thing in common they are British! Well, one other thing in mm. common. The Doctor always enjoys the thrill of adventure, and they've got plenty of tech to help, like the Sonic Screwdriver. Utilizing sonic waves to manipulate nearby objects, it can pick locks, cause detonations, and fry circuitry. <laughs> it's sort of a Swiss Army plot device that can hack its way through most problems. The perfect pacifist tool for resolving conflict. Its only weakness is that it doesn't do wood. Or turkey. Though considering it can destroy machines, disrupt molecules, and even erase memories, I'll take it. The doctor doesn't often carry weapons. There's an invisibility watch, a time travel ring, psychic paper that tricks basically everyone, and perception filters that prevents others from noticing certain things. Even like what? But the doc does reluctantly have a few weapons stored away, like the dematerialization gun. It might look slapped together with Hobby Lobby pipes, but the DMAT can literally erase you from time. As in, it causes you to have never existed in the first place. <laughs> but if you never existed, then the gun would have never needed to fire, which means you weren't wiped from existence, which means the gun would need to fire, which means- Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you say something? That's not the <laughs> only time erasing- <laughs> tool in the doctor's box, but we gotta talk about, you know, the box. box. Shabby blue police box on the outside. <laughs> Incredible time machine that's bigger on the inside. This is the TARDIS. The time and the relative Tardis. dimension in space is a sentient ship that travels space and time with ease. It's strong enough to tow planets, powerful mm. enough to stop antimatter from destroying the universe, and tough enough to tank lightning from Zeus. Yes, the god, god of lightning. It can even adjust its interior to an infinite degree, both in terms of space and time. So uh, if the TARDIS doesn't like you, you might get lost inside it forever. Ah, Don't shit. piss off the TARDIS. Or any of the doctor's enemies. So but that's gonna be bad now. Even if you are somewhat of a good guy and such. If that shit piss So you need to tell me. In order for me to travel anywhere. I gotta be good to a damn box. I gotta make sure I don't piss a box off. And at that point. I don't wanna travel. <laughs> I'm staying my ass right Some here. Of the universe's deadliest monsters, Cybermen, Zygons, Weeping Angels, and the Slitheen, the big chunky aliens that took over 10 Downing Street and couldn't stop farting. Even when Ew. the doctor prefers not to resort to fisticuffs, he's tough enough to survive bolts of lightning that vaporize an ordinary human. He's even dodged half a dozen disintegration rays while also improvising several thousand calculations in a matter of nanoseconds. Mm. Yeah, the doctor's super smart. So smart his brain once powered a 1,000 year old supercomputer. The what? doctor's <laughs> outwitted cosmic entities like the Great Intelligence, the Time Lord Nemesis, the Master, and apparently the original Satan, who isn't even the most frightening alien in the multiverse, because that would be the Daleks. Alright, bear with me here. They may look like trash cans with plungers, but they can exterminate anything that gets in their way, <laughs> even all of space and time, like when they battled the Time Lords to extinction in the last great time war. A war that showed a darker side to the Doctor. So you need to tell me a machine in that universe, a machine like that is way more Powerful than the devil and Satan. She. Hey, I'm Jesus all the way, but if I even hear that that thing is more powerful than Jesus, all I'ma say is, <laughs> look, 
I know it's a movie and all, but all I'm going to say is if I hear that that thing is way more powerful than Jesus, then I'll hear the dialect. The dialects. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Thrust into a conflict that put all of reality at risk, the doctor became a warrior, a soldier, a killer. A sight of him that had always been there, hiding just under that cheeky grin. Hmm. Finally, in a single moment, the doctor pressed a big red button to end the war and all of Gallifrey once and for all. As much as he didn't like the Time Lords, the Doctor cares for life above all things. So genocidating his own people was the worst thing that could possibly happen. As the last of the Time Lords, the Doctor proved to be the most dangerous person in the universe. Mm. Isolation threatened to turn him into the very type of Time Lord he despised, a master who controls the laws of time, the Time Lord Victorious. And God help your immortal soul if you piss him off. <laughs> if he's desperate or if you threaten his friends, you won't be prepared for how far he'll go. I mean, hey. I... you in every mirror in existence. And... That's that powerful friendship for you. You try to mess with one of my friends or family. I don't care how much I may... F I'm a nice person. You don't want to see the other side of me. <laughs> Simple as that. The event horizon of a collapsing galaxy, or suspending you in time to be used as a scarecrow. Fortunately, Gallifrey wasn't destroyed. It turns out the Doctor, all of the Doctors, saved the Time Lords, but just forgot about it until time could catch up to them. <laughs> it's complicated. Still, even their biggest L turned out to be a dub in disguise. That's how you know you're fantastic. But a Doctor's job is never finished. Without hey. witness, without <laughs> reward, wow. you'll never know when they'll show up to save the day. But if you happen to be up against the Doctor, there's really only one thing you can do. Run. <laughs> Yeah. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's that respects to the ad, respects to the ad, but being here for that, we're here for the battle. All right, the combatants are. So what the hell? <laughs> through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. All right, so you already know. With me, I have to go with Rick Sanchez, cause for nostalgia and for my childhood. So let's go, Rick. Oh. What are they going with? Two D or three D? Jeez, oh three. It was my oh, two fault. Shut the fuck up, Morty. I knew time hey, lords were suicidal morons, but I didn't know they never invented rearview mirrors. Are you sick? You're the one who hit me. Oh, go on, I'm busy. <laughs> Son of a bitch, he's ignoring. So he's doing two D and three D. Nice. Okay, okay. Me? <laughs> Holy in the ship! Keep Morty safe! Whoa, 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 what are you? Uh oh! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! All I'm gonna say is this. Ain't no way a 70 year old guy. It's basically like this. With all due respect to the elder, elderly, right? This is not. I know, like I said, cartoon and all, but ain't no way no damn 70 year old in real life or not want to go on certain adventures like this or of any kind. <laughs> it's just impossible. But it is what it is. No, 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 no. Oh, what did they do to you? Oh. Huh? Really, the screaming oh. son. <laughs> All right, fine. Queensbury rules. A bit of Venusian karate. Keep quipping, asshole. Maybe you'll find a good joke on the ground next to your teeth. <laughs> on guard. The damn spoon. Oh, oh this place looks fun. Did they have a little shop? I like little shops. Damn! How the hell a spoon knock off a damn sword like that? Crazy. Much 
you can. They're scared of rapid movement. Hey! That damn sun, shut up! Switching rooms around. Fantastic. The D Mac. Huh? What the hell? How did you? Do I'm sorry, but how the hell did you not notice a damn portal in your back? What the hell? I don't know. But let's go, Rick. Rick's coming. Be the class clown, so you get. Good shot. Now hurry up. I got a grandson waiting on me. He won't die an idiot like you. Oh, no, you're I'm pretty sure he already is dead. You left to behind the reel of the cruiser. You know that nigga ain't old enough to drive yet. He don't even have his per his license, much less. You already probably dead. Type. The nihilists know it all. But through all this wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey rubbish. There's one thing you never quite understood. I'm the doctor, and I don't want to go. Uh oh. Morty, you built it yourself? Uh, uh, I guess so. Then you've got a bright future ahead. Don't be a cynic! <laughs> Morty, if you forget me, I'll haunt your ass. Ah, who the fuck are you? Ow! Live by the portal, die, die by the portal. The portal. Damn! This down. First off, Rick and the. Well, shit. Guess my. I guess my streak is done now. Shit! Son of a bitch! Curse you, Doctor! You made my street gone! Ah, whatever. It's the all fun in games. But damn it, I wish I was. Dodge lasers, making them pretty even, so neither could reliably win a quick draw. I also, guess. neither have shown any consistent signs of strength, all that different from an above average human. The Doctor could get a superhuman strength boost during regeneration, but that is fairly incidental. So as far as physical ability is concerned, neither had a significant edge. But when it comes to weapons, yes. Rick had way more deadly killing machines. He did. A lot of which could wipe out whole planets, galaxies, and more. If he could get the jump on the doctor, he'd have a good chance of winning. Of course, there's similar speeds, but he probably wasn't getting that opportunity. There's no denying his firepower was superior overall, but that mm. still had to contend with the doctor's technology. Yeah, despite all of Rick's crazy inventions, most of which could kill a normal person instantly, Thanks. the doctor matched or countered pretty much all of it. Being a Time Lord meant he could resist any time warping trickery Rick threw at him, and the sonic screwdriver could hack and even destroy nearly everything Rick had. The Sonic has even disabled teleportation and time travel technology before, making it more than capable of hijacking Rick's portal gun, which has been hacked in the past. It has been, yeah, it has. It was kind of a sitting duck. Operation Phoenix makes killing Rick permanently almost you know, impossible. Let me skip to the end. But the Doctor's reality-altering tech like the D- I gotta skip to the end. for many times longer than Rick himself. And when push comes to shove, the Doctor is just as experienced as plans. Like when he dodged half a dozen rays and- and outsmarted, like with the Prime Rick or Gasp, a Morty. Rick was a formidable genius, but the Doctor's incredible technology, unmatched intelligence, and thousands of years of experience gave him the win. Ah, jeez, I bet Rick was absolutely mortified to lose. The winner is the Doctor. I'm gonna punch him. Who you got, Nick? Hi, I'm Ben, the voice of Wiz. Thank you so much for watching. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Battle member yet, click that join button below. See what you're missing. On y'all, the screen always. The next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Battle member yet, click that join button below. See what you're missing. 
What you got next? Ooh. Goku versus Superman? Oh, we here for that. Goku ver of course. Of course. We here for that. Oh, you already know we here for that one. But look. Damn, I wish my streak would have stayed the same. But it is what it is. But hey, either way, hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction, man. If you have, comment down below. Goku versus Spider-Man. Because we can't wait for that one. But either way. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.